How's everybody doing tonight? Ian, here live on Bear with me, folks. So, um, uh, I want to say thank you and hello to everyone that, uh, has joined us tonight here. Um, my name is Dean Walker. I am uh, an artist uh, from Parks and Rec Design. I'm on a team on a weekly basis. We've been a lot of Um, so I'm doing a Black Panther song. I'm looking at like this working So what's going on? So what I want, what I want to do with this channel. Um, go ahead and use the chat here. I see this.
So let's go ahead and Now, when you're drawing your legs, drawing legs. And this took me a while. The leg to have curves are straight. So think about the other side. And everything that shape in our wheel. So instead of the two arrows here, it's actually going to be a down here. So when we come to the curve, Thank you. 
you're not going to run over there. You're going to I don't expect you to try to do that. Unfortunately, try to run over there. And put the new stuff on. Right down here. So over here you have one, two, three, five neutral vectors in the top. You can remember the check position of these numbers. No matter what shape that you're drawing the legs in, you draw the little shape of the leg. You can have to be able to fit in the time. You can draw them up. They should look for that. If they don't look right, you've got to be able to fit in the 
Now, we're going to go over to the next We got a few muscles. We got some muscles that are on both sides of the cat. That's the
the other side of it, it's going to keep it sealed and carry out all the material. Once it's part of the muscle that's part of all muscle that's part of the tissue, it's not. And this is where it gets to the tricky because it's all muscle that's part of the tissue.
all this. So now I'm in a new layer.
Now, Thank you. 
Done, almost done. <laughs> Give me one moment. Appreciate your patience. This next part of the deal here.
too. I'm going to try to bring this over a little bit more here. All right. So thank you, thank you for, uh, hold on, let me start my cam. Oh, oh, my face is blocked now. Okay. <laughs> hey, work in process, okay? Work in progress. You know what, let me see here on my camera. Ah, I'll work on it next time. Right now. You can see my beautiful face down here. So, if you don't mind, so I, I'm little, anyways. You ain't supposed to be looking at me no way. You're supposed to be looking at the screen. <laughs> so, this is the latest piece that I'm working on here. Um, it is in honor, like I said, Black Panther. Uh, Wakanda Forever. The movie, I actually went and saw it last night with my wife and I. And uh, non-spoiler review, it was good. Namor is very awesome. Um, I don't know, I will say, I don't know if it was worth the hype that it was getting, though. And I will say that I feel like there were some things that were some aspects of it that were a little forced. To me. To me. Doesn't mean that my word is law or anything like that. That's just my opinion. But I, my wife and I both enjoyed the movie a lot. It was, it was good. It was good. So, I've been working on this for a little bit. And I decided I wanted to keep this one for the stream. And it's funny, I'm glad I saw the movie because... Um, because it kind of gives me an idea of how to go about doing the drawing now. 
So, because I mean, I'm not trying to make it exactly like the movie, the drawing, but um, but you know, I do want to kind of stay true to the familiarity of the of the film. Um, but anyways, as I was saying before, I did really enjoy the movie. I did, I did like it. It was a, it's definitely a tribute film. So if you're looking, um, to see if, you know, you know, uh, if they do anything to chat for Chad with those men, they do, they talk about him quite a, a little bit. And, uh, the antagonist of the movie, which everyone knows is Namor. He actually ended up being the catalyst to get the story moving. I think without him in the film, it would have just been kind of a a sad, droned out, you know, piece. It wouldn't have been. I, I don't think it would have been that good if they had, had had stayed on that route there. But they didn't do that. Namor made, balanced it out. Namor in the film was super cool. I really, really, really enjoyed um, watching him in action and watching him be who he is supposed to be in the film. Um, you got you got your surprises, of course. Um, you got some things that are definitely unexpected, and uh, so. Yeah, I, I was I was satisfied just as a whole. It was good. It was good. So if you haven't seen it yet, I definitely rec- re- uh, recommend that you go see it, just so that you have, um, you know, just so that that's out of the way. here. So what I'm doing here is I decided to do one where I have the Black Panther here in the middle. I have Shorty here at the bottom. Um, Shorty here at the bottom and I have um, the the Wanda Wanda, Black Panther's mama, man. Down here, T'Challa and T'Chaka. There. some accents on her suit that was interesting. Um, that I wanted to add as well. Let's see how that goes. Kind of, I don't remember Sherry's suit off rip. I think I'm not going to worry about the decorations right now. I'm just going to focus on getting the character where I want them to be. 
We note that Chad has a beard. Once I'm done with this piece, I'm going to ink this one up and color it up. And I'm going to sell it. I just want to show you guys the latest piece that I did last time. I don't know if you guys synced it, did it, it. This is my Black Adam, Chibi Black Adam. This is the original of a Patreon print that is up for the Patreons now. Patrons now who are at my Patreon page. So I made a print of this, and but this is the original. So this original is for sale um, on uh, this is for sale if you want to buy it. Dang it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, so if you want the price for that um, and you're interested in grabbing it, letting this one go for um, 215. I'm sorry, 225. This one is a little bit more involved, so it will be a little bit more. More characters, the like. Okay. So now for this one here. kind of make him look a little bit different. I don't know if I want to make him look like his father and more like his mom. I'll figure that out when I, when I get there, I guess. Chaka, I'm going to I'm 
gonna do for the chaka? I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a thinner. Get thinner mustache here. But give him a more. Ramunda, Ramunda, that's his mama's name, Ramunda, <laughs> got it, um, <laughs> okay, I like where that's going, What I need to do is I need to go on to Pinterest. And look up. Um, go. She will be. I will do Ramonda being more. like um, Angela Bassett from the film. Some things here that I've seen that look pretty dope.
far out. Too far out, man. Let me see. Let me bring this in. So. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm like in a zone right now because I'm trying to figure out how to place these. kind of bringing out the kind of figuring out the shapes that I want to have for this um, which is fine but I just want to because when I go in to finally ink this piece I want it to, I want everything to be as uniform as possible um, for Munda. I was trying to do the right um, the right um, right earrings for her. I want to tell you to make sense. So I like, I like that where that's going. I like where this is going. <laughs> Gonna erase the names. So. 
liking where this the pencils for this are getting I like a lot so I'm pretty satisfied with that Set it, set it apart, kind of give a little bit of a a uh, bit of a division, kind of break it up a little bit. So now, with this part being done, I can now get on the. onto the, um, the inking part. But what do you guys think? I mean, that's cool. I know back here what I want to do is going to be meticulous. It's going to be annoying. But I really want to do some, you know, like hatching here. in the back here. It's kind of like it's a reference. I'm making this for myself here. Something like that. I'm just kind of just throwing that up there. Um, yeah.
Yeah, we like that. All right. So that has been done for. Wakanda forever. Should I continue with pencil? Kind of like do an outline of the ink. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I want to do a, a, a gray tone piece of this, so I think I'm going to continue with the gray tones. Um, I'm going to like that look. I'm going to do a mix of warm grays, cool grays, and neutral grays. So, my grades are going to get that work out, get that work work in. <laughs> so, that'll be good. <clears throat> Go ahead and better do some erasing and prep for the inks. A lot of the guidelines here that I've put down. I'll start getting rid of that. Some of these lines won't be able to get erased until I actually put down some of the inks. So I'm not going to be too meticulous about it, but I do want to get the base, the base ones out of the way here, just so that they're not a distraction. Before I start inking, I'm going to go back over it um, with pencil to see if there's um, any, anything I need to change out or something like that. So I will, I will do that. Stuff is sticking to the to the paper. I don't want that to happen, but here's what it is. Once I get some gray on this here, and this thing's been erased and used and battered up a bit, it'll become a better eraser. When it first starts, it's always a pickle. Thank you. 
So like I said, some of these won't be able to get erased uh, until and that's fine. I did a combination of uh, her outfit from I want to say it's from the first movie to this movie I did a uh, Black Panther digital art drawing. It was really quick the other day. That actually turned out very well. And um, probably going to share that with everybody. some of this pencil all right so the next phase of this drawing and I'm probably going to do this uh, this week is get the synced up I'm realizing this is not a prism color needed eraser it's just like this sticky gum eraser like really gotta work it it's like too sticky for my liking it's really tacky I may have to invest in another eraser anyway so so you so this is my uh, drawing for tonight um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here um, so I hope you guys uh, got quite a bit out of tonight's stream uh, those of you who are on, first off to the YouTube channel thank you for those of you guys who are sticking around to we'll start recording more I put more recorded videos up on my other YouTube art page because I didn't have access to this one but now I react I now have the access again to it so I'm going to do that so you're going to see um, different updates to my YouTube page. So look out for that. So please subscribe, comment on whatever you like here in the in the in the show today. Um, again, if you have any questions regarding the anatomy lesson for today or my Black Panther piece, um, please let me know. Send an email to idwalkerart at gmail.com 
or shoot me a message if you're interested in any of my art pieces. Like I said, right now, this Chibi Black Adam, which is the original of the art print that is out for pa my patrons right now, is there. It's here for sale for $225. Um, so give me a holler if you're interested in getting that for yourself. And uh, again, across the screen, I keep talking about my Patreon, but it's because I have a Patreon page, which is my art club um, at patreon.com slash ivywalkerart. So, you know, if you do the $5 tier, it's as little as 17 cents a day. So, um, so you can get on that. You will get access to digital copies of the prints, um, my art tutorial videos, my anatomy lessons things like that. If you go to the higher tiers, you'll be able to get more uh, for your butt physical art um, sent to you. You also, you know, and like I said, I'm working on stickers right now too. So um, we'll have some physical copy, uh, get some stickers sent out to you as well as a bonus um, if you join the higher tiers. So that'd be, that'd be great. Anything you can give and contribute would be highly appreciated. Um, it allows me to do more of these streams, make more art, um, work toward building the course that I want to do for my artwork as well. So, like I said, every little bit counts and helps, and so I really appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram, ID Walker Art, Facebook, The Art of Andy Walker, Twitter, ID Walker Art. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. It's ridiculous. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, follow me on Twitch and subscribe there as well. Um, Facebook, just follow if you like. Um, I'm always here to talk. The quickest and easiest way to contact me is on Instagram or Facebook because they are kind of connected. So go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible with that. As well, got a lot of things coming. Got a lot of projects that I'm working on and I'm always going to continue sharing those with you guys as well, giving you the behind the scenes look for everything. So stay tuned. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys' patience, hanging out with me tonight, um, means a lot, and, uh, spurs me to keep, keep on going, so, um, I will be back next week with another stream, and, uh, until then, I'll catch you guys later, be good, alright, have a good night.